Hello and welcome to your second tutorial in the series. Uh, I'm VZ Damon and uh, yeah, let's get started. So uh, we'll fire up Unity. Start off right where we left in the second video first. Here we are. Skip, I don't wanna update now. And so yeah, here we were empty scene. Just one game object and this phone right here. Now let me just tell you about a little about the concept of Unity and then we can get started on making the game. So first of all, what you get when you open is an empty world, empty space. This is called a scene. Now you'll see if you'll go file save scene or control s ask you for to name your scene just name it scene scene 0 and click enter and you'll see a new file in your project window called scene 0 this scene 0 is exactly what you see here it's this world right here so in the world we have objects uh, we call them game objects because they're object for our game and uh, camera is one of them now what a camera basically is is where it's the perspective of the player it's how the player sees the game player will see the game through the camera through the view of the camera right here you can see how the player will see the game in the game window now to test out uh, how our game works and how it runs we simply click the play button and uh there you go so yeah that that's basically how unity functions and it's all in the drag and drop concept now let's uh, take a look a bit in the inspector here inspector window you might be a bit overwhelmed by all this but it's very simple what we have here is the game object the name the tag which we'll get into in later tutorials and a transform now this transform they, these are all all these things here. There are components that are attached to the game object. Components that are attached to the game object are meant to enhance it or give it more functionality in the in the world. For example, the transform is the most basic component that you attach to a game object, and it's a must for all game objects that to exist. Transform means it has a x, y, and z position, a, s a rotation, and a scale. This is the most basic features of a 3D object. After you covered that, you see a camera component. By the way, all these components are contained in scripts. Those of you who don't know what scripts are, you will see very soon. Now, what it has is a camera script here, which comes with a uh, customizable everything. You can change the skybox, field of view, which is like the zoom. Let's leave it at 60 now. And uh, near, far. Ev everything we'll get into everything later. For for now, all you need to know is that through this game object, your player will see the game. So it's very important that you place it well. So now let's get started on uh, creating our first like our area for a player to walk in before we get the player. So we'll go create game object, create other, and cube. Now this is what you get basically a cube. Notice the components has a transform, a cube, mesh filter, you don't need to know what that is right now, and a collider. Now what a collider is, it means if other game objects hit it, they will stop. They will not go through it. If you uncheck it or remove this component, a game object will go right through that. And we might have use for that in later tutorials, but for now we need it to collide so the player won't fall to eternity. Now let's simply make it bigger by going to the transform and taking the scale up on e each one of the axes. Hold on, no, we want to leave the Y at 1 and the Z at 10. By the way, Y is up, Z is forward, and X is sideways, just so you know the axes of 3D world. Uh, y it's not that important that you get the hang, you'll get the hang of it in later tutorials. Just go with the flow for now. Um, so yeah, that's how we basically scale it up. You can also move it here, 30, 
move it all the way here and but for now we just want to reset its position and everything so yeah basically reset it to zero 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 and one on the scale now you can also move it with these arrows by dragging it like that computer's a bit laggy because it's screen recorder and like that you can move it up and also you have the tools up here if you don't want to change the numbers which I think changing numbers is better because it's more direct but you can always just you know rotate it like this or uh, scale it like that but I just prefer to use numbers so it's it's easier to get along with so for now we will just scale it up to 50 on the X and 50 on the Z so now we got we understood that now we'll move our camera where is it let's reset that position too and send center to you'll notice center of the world move it like that you can see here how it looks and there now you see our scene is very dark you, you don't really see any depth of field or dynamic you see a very basic shape here we want to we want to make it more dynamic and that you can actually see so we get a light and we go to game objects create other point light and we drag it here drag it up and now you see the sphere around the light is very small and the sphere represents its range far the light will go so you can change that here and we want to, ha to have a 50 range there and then drag it up so it will light over all of the cube and also change the view in the view box right here and there we go that's our scene now after we have all this set up be sure to save control s or file save and uh... yeah now we, if we play you'll see uh, everything we have created but now this is very boring this is not a game yet it's just a scene we want to do is give it give a player some control over it so what we have to do is we'll create a game object for the player to play the game through so you go game object create other this really could be any game object but the best to use is capsule there's a neat little capsule here. Double click the object to focus on it or press F on your keyboard. And so yeah, we see it's kind of in a bad position right now. It's under. So we just gotta bring it up. And yeah, just position this however you like. But just notice that it must be on top of the game object so it won't fall forever. There we go. Now this is just a worthless game object right now. It will collide, it will not even fall down, it will just stay in space. So what we want to give it is, uh, is a controller. So the player, the person that interfaces with the program, can move it around. So we do that by adding a component, which is a script, which uh, we imported when we created the project. Here, so if you go to standard ad assets in the project uh, window, and you go to character controller you click sources you don't want to click on this you click scripts and you got all the scripts here so now um yeah we can we we what we want to add is what we have on the first person controller here so yeah we want to have a character controller component mouse look script character motor and an FPS controller script. Alright, and also let's look what game object it has inside here. Graphics. Okay, so to start off, we'll move our camera inside our capsule and make it a child of a capsule. Now, this will mean is that wherever the child, the parent moves, the child moves too. As you can see, the, the main is currently a child of the capsule. You can do this by simply dragging it out or in, however you like. And now once it's a child of that, its position, its center position will be this position, the position of this. So if we go click reset, 
So it reset it right to the middle of the capsule. Now we might want to bring this higher a bit. Just like that. And a bit more outwards. Yep, that's pretty much it. And now we want to attach our components. Now to attach a component, you can go... Uh, we don't need this for now. You can go right here. Select the component you want. And simply put it on there. And there it is. Or you can also do this. And you see it automatically attaches this component since we need it badly. And... Uh, yeah, it, it attached everything else for us. So uh, let's test this out. And there we go. You'll see if you move your mouse around or walk with the WASD keys. It will walk just like a first person shooter. Except for the mouse being centered and disappearing. We'll take that care of that in the next tutorial. So uh, bye bye for now. Be sure to save your projects. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.